Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today the topic uh, of our discussion is uh, the species category. There are four different concepts for species delimitation. Typological species concept, nominalistic species concept, biological species concept, evolutionary species concept. Why we are working on these species concept? W what is the importance of these species concept? It is basically that we are trying to define the criteria on the basis of which we have to define a species. Typological species concept majorly depends upon the morpholo morphology of the species. Morphological parameters are considered in the typological species concept. Nominalistic species concept does not agree with the, with the philosophy of uh, or with the demarcation of the species or the delimitation of the species. And the biological species concept gives meaning to every, uh, gives biological meaning to every single character of an animal and on the basis of that biological characters it defines the species. And uh, as we have heard it in our previous um, classes that biological species concept uh, gives you a definition of the reproductive community. Uh, number four is evolutionary species concept. Evolutionary species concept does not deal with the living uh, uh, animals. Uh, however, it is more applied in the field of paleontology. So these are the basic four different species concepts and the species concepts are there, I repeat, uh, uh, are being uh, are, are generally discussed in the field of taxonomy to delimit a species to understand that what criteria or what characters must be used to delimit a species. So the first two concepts are histori of historical significance, uh, but they are still being used by co contemporary taxonomists. Morphological evidence is used by all taxonomists, but there is an enormous difference between basing one species concept entirely on morphology or using morphological evidence as an inference in the application of biological species concept. So uh, th there is a clear difference if you are using the morphology as a marker uh, either you are depending upon the morphological markers or you are using the markers or you are using those morphological markers in the process of your identification. 
So uh, these days, generally taxonomists apply typological species concept by using this morphological evidence in the application of the biological species concept. We will be discussing biological species concept in the next lecture. The essentialist species concept was accepted by the taxonomist as late as the earlier post linean period. There are four basic postulates of the typological species concept. Species consists of similar individuals sharing the same essence. Basically, the word essence is used to describe a genetic unit. However, the findings of the Mendelian genetics were not uh, introduced in the field of science due to what generally the word of the essence was being used. Number two, each species is separated from all others by a sharp discontinuity. It means that a sharp difference in the morphological features means that the species is different. Number three, each species is completely constant through time which means that there is no evolution, there are no forces of nature, there are no changes in the uh, individuals of a population due to natural forces. There are strict limitation to the possible variation in a species, which means that if there is a variation, definitely the variant belongs to the other species. So this typological species concept was not accepted and it was rejected for the two reasons. Individuals are frequently found in nature that are clearly conspecific which means that they belong to the same species with other individuals in spite of the striking differences. And they, these individuals which are generally conspecific and I again tell you that conspecific means that belonging to the same species might have striking differences and the reasons for those striking differences may be sexual dimorphism, age differences, polymorphism or individual variation. And as soon as they were found to be belonging to the same breeding population, even if those individuals were given a separate species status, they were deprived of that species status because of the fact that they, those individuals were belonging to the same breeding population. Different fauna that belong to a single population cannot be considered separate species no matter how different they are morphologically. Number two, there are species in nature that are called sibling species. Sibling species means that they are extremely similar with each other, however they are reproductively isolated and they are th present in the nature. Um, so these two reasons, these two points convince the taxonomist to reject the typological species concept. So it was finally concluded that degree of difference thus cannot be considered decisive criterion in the ranking of a taxa as species. However, still it is being considered in the process of identification. Again, I would say that morphological criteria is being used in the process of identification. We are not dependent for the identification. Um, no, we are not dependent on the morphological markers for correct identification. However, we are we use these morph morphological markers in the process of identification. When there is a lack of biological information, a taxonomist may be forced to recognize species provisionally on the basis of strictly morphological evidence. However, these species are subject to later reconsideration. Even if we have, we have relied on the morphological markers, we need to reconsider the specimens. We need to reconsider the identification and that has to be done by using other m other uh, markers for the characterization of the species. Then there is another uh, species concept number two uh, nominalistic species concept nature produces individuals and nothing more species have no actual existence 
they are mental concepts and nothing more species have been invented in order that we may call to great number of individuals collectively uh, basically it is uh, a concept which totally rejects the concept of species and uh, under this concept it is said that it is just an abstract idea to call or to group individuals into species however if you are trained trained population geneticist you may know from a practice from your practical experience that species are not just human constructs they are biological groups and they ha they are biological entities which are related to each other which have an er evolutionary relationship with each other which has a phylogenetic relationship with each other so this concept uh, which is called nominalistic species concept was rejected in the next lecture we will be talking about biological species concept and evolutionary species concept thank you so much